YouTube friends, here we are in sunny Brooklyn because we're international travellers these days. And today I'm very excited to talk to a beauty guru, Rio Vieira Newton, who's my friend and also someone that I DM regularly when I have skin issues. So I'm going to share her wisdom with you today. She's the beauty writer at The Strategist. I've given her some skin dilemmas and she's going to solve them for us. Let's do this. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Good to see you. Thank you so much for doing this. Of course, come on in. Thanks for doing this with me. I guess My pleasure. I'd like to introduce you to um, our YouTube friends here by you explaining kind of how you got into beauty because you didn't have like a classic education yeah. in, in that realm. I definitely had kind of like an untraditional start in beauty. Right. Um, basically, I started having a really, really tough time with my skin mm -hmm. post-college and getting terrible breakouts, so much hormonal acne, right. cystic acne. It was just like endless at the time. But I didn't have that much money because post-college. Right, right. So I was desperately trying to find things that were super affordable and effective, which yeah. is how I kind of unlocked the world of K-beauty. Wait, K-beauty being Korean beauty? Yeah. Okay. I basically made a Google Doc for my friends of all of the products I was using because they noticed my skin had improved so much. Right. And it was the only thing I could talk about at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and passed it around to some of my friends and it just got in the hands of a friend of a friend who worked at The Strategist, who yeah. was an editor at The Strategist. She asked me if I could publish it and the rest is kind of history. That's so cool. Yeah. So it was just so well formed that they were like, this is insane, we have to share it. Kind of, yeah. And it oddly was in the format of a strategist article. Right. So it was kind of like a weird cosmic alignment of things yeah, that yeah, yeah. ended up happening. And, and now I write there full time. And aside from like leaving college and then having this kind of breakout skin, were you always interested in skincare before that? Before it was kind of like drunk, home from the bar, just whatever I could do to my <laughs> face quickly and then bed. Nice. Now I take time when I'm drunk yeah. to <laughs> take off my makeup it's and making stuff. great drunk decisions. Basically. And are you a hoarder for uh, skin things now? Like how many products do you have in your cabinet? Multiple. Really, it's bad. I mean, very well organized. Yeah. This is genius, the organize clear thing. Container store. Container I'm telling store. you, it'll change your life. Difference. So what sections have we got? This is eye stuff. This is my favorite drawer. Okay. This is a lip moment. Yeah. Here's all my skincare, which at this point is just Ooh, all over the place. Oh, you've got biologique recherche. I do biomagic masks. I don't think I've ever masked in my life. That can't be true. Yeah, I don't do masks. Ever? No. Well, we're going to change that today. Yeah. All right. Great. Okay, well you very kindly agreed to talk us through some, some classic dilemmas and how to solve them. Yeah, my favourite topic of conversation. I um, thought so, you'd never ask. I know, <laughs> well, here I am. Uh, so should we get into it? For sure, let's do it. Are we ready to go? Energy. Great. Okay, Ooh. so Rio, yep. here we are on, in our plane seats. Yes. Firstly, when you get on a plane, do you talk to passengers next to you or are you a strictly non-talker? I'm a non-talker. Yes, yeah, same. I'm headphones in immediately. I try and avoid any kind of interaction. I'm not really headphones, I just do this. Oh, so that's, we, that's way more hurtful. It's really mean, isn't it? So if they're like, blah, 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 I'm like, one time I got on a plane and got seated next to an ex-boyfriend of mine. Stop it. You sure did. That is my absolute nightmare. It was wild. Um, but he was nice, so it was fine. Okay. But it was all, we sat down and we were like, oh God. <laughs> but it was great. We went on an emotional journey together. Okay, so I think that there's three kinds of beauty in flight people, right? Mm -hmm. So there's people who are totally shameless, who I deeply respect, who are just like doing hand masks, face masks, spraying the whole works. There's circumstantial parlor people, so right. people who kind of like feel out the environment mm -hmm. and then act accordingly. <laughs> and then there's people who are just like, have toe curling embarrassment at the thought of anyone looking at them doing anything. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, <laughs> so they do like the more subtle treatment. I do a little bit of kind of trying to hydrate the skin. Yeah. And uh, I'm a constant lip applier. Mm. But other than that, I've never messed around with face masks. You've or... never done like a sheet mask on a plane? Absolutely not. Okay, yeah, so I don't do it every time, 
but I kind of assess whether my seatmates are friends or foes, <laughs> and then <laughs> decide if I'm gonna do it then. Do you say something as you're putting it on, or you like, like boom, I'm I, something terrifying? I do do like a little stand-up bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, oh, me and my mask, uh. Yeah, okay, <laughs> Just great. because I feel like that eases the tension Apologies, a little bit. Apologies, I'm crazy. Yeah, but usually people are cool about it. So today, I think we should be the extra people who do the most. Yeah, let's and be the see most. see how it feels. Sounds good. Obviously, the biggest challenge is no water, really. No, no right? water. That's not happening for us. Mm -hmm. And I guess everything has to be under 100 milliliters. Yeah. Meat? What is it, 150? Fifi, what is it, 100 milliliters? Milli 100 milliliters. See, the thing that's nice about a sheet mask is it doesn't take up a lot of real estate. Yeah. So you can just slip it into the purse. Yeah. Technically, this size is a tiny bit big, but I either decant it or use it up just enough that it's fine. Okay, what is that? For me, I think this is a plain staple. It's from Versed, and it's a hydrating toner, and it gets rid of your makeup. Okay, So great. if you're traveling at night and you hadn't just washed your face, maybe you're coming from a meeting or something, mm -hmm. this is what you can use with a cotton pad to take off any makeup. Are these reusable cotton pads? They are, yeah. So you put them in the washing machine? Correct. Great, okay, let's do it. What do I do? Oh, <laughs> you just press it down. Oh, okay, great. Like I'm in a nail salon. Yes, exactly. Okay, you guys, I have really bad dark circles, so be nice <laughs> to me, okay? I'm showing you the real me. Oh, God. See, I look like I've never slept a day in my life, but this is eight and a half hours. Is it? Uh-huh. How much did you sleep last night? Yeah, weirdly, I look better when I'm hungover for one That's day. That's evil. For one day. Oh, because you kind of look like a bit plump. puffy. Yeah. So it's I very youthful. And then the next day, like 1,000 years old. Oh, yeah. And people are like, are you okay? Like, Holy shit. Can I take another one? Yeah, of course. Okay. I love this stuff. It's really nice because it does really hydrate the skin yeah. as well as take off makeup. So a lot of these, like, coconut waters. water. Yeah, and there's also bamboo in it. Vegan, cruelty-free, mm -hmm. fragrance-free, dye-free. Do it all milky. toner, cleanser, and makeup remover that leaves skin velvety soft. My milky texture with soothing plant extracts help hydrate and balance skin's pH. I think it's important to take as much makeup off as possible when you're flying, because if you're going to put all this hydration into the skin, you want to make sure that there's no kind of yeah. makeup or dirt or anything sitting there. We should do a CGI where when we take the makeup off, we look like stunning versions <laughs> of us, or like every sweep, it's like, oh. Just glitter. Yeah. Okay, how do you feel? I feel fantastic. Okay, great. So that's kind of like step one. Mm -hmm. Then we move into the masks. So I have a lot of options here. I sheet got masks. blue, I got red, yeah. I got green. <laughs> the thing about sheet masks is they're kind of like non-committal. Obviously it's important to read the ingredients and make sure there's nothing that you know doesn't work for your skin. Yeah. But in general, I think it's okay to kind of change it up. But I do have some favorites. Okay, talk us through your this favorites. This is a brightening situation, which I think is great, because it gives you that little bit of moisture, but also vitamin C. So if you have any dark marks or anything like that, that you want to give a little bit of a boost. I want that. This might be your girl. Okay. This is aloe vera, which is hydrating and very soothing. This sounds mean, but I feel like aloe vera is so 90s in my mind. It is 90s. But not in a like, that looks cool way, in a like, I think we're done. Like you don't trust her. I don't trust that one. I like her. You can have that one. I like her. I think you need to be nicer to her. Okay. <laughs> This, Love this cover. Me too. Excuse me. It's so cute. It it's makes me want to cry. It's a cat with its own mask. Of course cats love face masks. This is kind of what I reach for when I can't decide what I need. It says no animal derived ingredients. Yes, comfortable feeling. Yay, combination of vegan formula and skin science. Wow, perfectly fitted vegan sheet from Cotton Seed. What doesn't she do? And then there's a cat saying peace on the back. <laughs> Peace to you too. Peace to you too. <laughs> okay. And then this is a cute hydrating moment, but I feel like we know what we want, right? Yeah, I want this one. I want this one. Oh, nice. Let's okay. do it. Do you think you would ever get to a place in your life where you feel comfortable doing a sheet mask on an airplane? I'm already like someone that presumes everyone thinks I'm awful. So yeah. like I, I, I'd like to try and minimize people being like, I saw, so, I saw Alexa Chang on the plane. Yeah. Like, I just don't think she I can do that. She was doing sheet masks. I'm like trying to pretend that I'm a real low maintenance Sally. I'm mm. like, no, I'm fine. You're like, you oh, me? Water. Yeah. Which way around? So the scary eyes up, right? Why can't I do that? <laughs> it's okay. okay, I got it, I got it. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Stunning. Stunning. And then any of the excess. Oh, it feels nice. You can rub it on your hands. It's you can so rub it cold. down your neck. I think I've got quite a small head. That's good though, because a lot of these sheet masks are very petite. So yours is smooth and mine's wrinkly, but it doesn't matter, does it? No. There you go, two casual girls on an airplane. What it's if, amazing. What if you walked by us? And we just, just like. <laughs> okay, we'll face this way, and then they, we pretend they ask us if we want water, and we'll turn okay. around. Okay. Okay, ma'am, would you like any water? <laughs> yeah, it's terrifying. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. I think what's great about sheet masks is they really do give you that super charge of essence. So a hydrating or nourishing treatment that's really getting into your skin. Okay, how long do I keep it on for? So, technically 10 minutes. Do I have to keep it on for 10 minutes in real time now? I don't know, that's your call. It's quite boring. <laughs> Should we pretend and fast forward it? Yeah. Whoa. We love it. We love it. So, this is completely supplementary, but a gua sha tool. These little tools, you run them along certain areas of your face and it promotes blood flow. It also helps with lymphatic drainage. So if you're puffy on flights, this mm -hmm. is a great thing to do. You can also chuck it in the freezer. Ooh, so nice. you can get that little added bit of cryo. A makeup moment. artist the other day had it resting in an ice bowl and then would use it and then dip it back in oh, the ice bowl. such a good idea. It was brilliant because if it's really early in the morning and you're shooting, like I think my face doesn't look okay until about 2 p.m. Mm. So she took out all the puff. So I like the best rub running it along the cheeks to chisel the cheekbone and the jawline. Like not to sound up my own ass, but I don't need um, more. If anything, I'm a bit gaunt. Like I'm worried if I do that, it's gonna start looking like a skeleton amazing, man. You do have amazing cheekbones. No, not in a like, my cheekbones are amazing, just I look ill. Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. But you know what else is nice? The forehead, yep, need that. up on the forehead, a little brow lift. Sure need that. Is this the right way to do it? I think anything kind of goes, as long as you're not pulling it, it down. It feels funny you know? though, because it's like a nodules, it's like goody, goody, goody. Kind of reminds you that you're a human person. Uh, I know. <laughs> not an AI robot. Oh, okay. All right, we're over here. So then you get to kind of like play with how much moisture you want. Yeah. Right? This is a serum I absolutely adore. It's the Intense Replenishing Serum from Dr. Loretta. Mm -hmm. And basically what it does is make sure that all of the moisture in your skin is locked in. Is Dr. Loretta an actual doctor? She is. Great. Good and team. she's a lady doctor and the business is family run. Great. So, you know, we like to lean into those things. We, we trust her. Yeah. So this is very, very kind of oily almost. Ooh. Right? Ooh. It has kind of a funny texture. This skin. is gorgeous. I know, isn't it so nice? Mm. Sometimes I use this when I'm not wearing any makeup, just as kind of like a natural highlight, but it does actually work wonders. If I had to choose one product for the plane, it would probably be this. It's great, because it's kind of syrupy. Yeah, exactly, it's syrupy. It is, it's like putting syrup. Could, could put it on pancakes for sure. For sure, tasty. Sometimes this is enough. It feels pretty good. Yeah, if you need to lock in one more level of moisture, I like this overnight spa mask from CosRx, but luckily for you, it's empty. From what? CosRx, Cos which is a K-beauty brand. Okay. Very affordable brand, and I love their stuff. Sometimes I like to do this in lieu of a sheet mask. So if you were petrified of doing a sheet mask on a plane, mm -hmm. this one is an overnight mask that's virtually invisible. You can't see it? Yeah. Great. I'm sorry, but Rio, I'm having the weirdest deja vu. Mm. What are things I have a deja vu about? We've done this before. Okay, this looks delightful. And then lip treatment. Yes, please. So important. Oh my God, right? I need it, yeah. Mm -hmm. I trust you. I trust you with Thank my lips. You. This is just a balm. Uh huh. Stunning. Uh -huh. Oh my God, great. Isn't it nice? Now I can watch Mighty Ducks too. Yeah, just... exactly. And now you can kind of just pass out and you'll, when you get off the plane, you'll look pretty good. This is great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Is that the end? That's the end. That's that. <sighs> Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, Martini. Cat on the plane. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, we'll see you next time on my <laughs> YouTube channel with Rio Vieira Newton and her cat, Martini. Make sure you ring the bell, click to subscribe, and leave your comments as ever. This is how we got to this one, actually, because people were asking for my beauty routine. Ooh. So thank you so much for your comments, and keep them coming. Bye.